is the cause of psoriasis. This is how you deal with psoriasis at the causal level. You look for food problems and you restore nutrients, especially fatty nutrients. It's as simple as that, my friend. Okay, so uh, how old is the child? Uh, six months. Is she breastfed? I believe so. Okay, so she's mom, if the, she's, she's kind of a bunch of mom, so I okay, so, so if she's breastfed, then that narrows things down because the only thing that's getting into the kid's system is from the mom. The mom's got a problem, so the mom has to do a food diary, eliminate problem foods. If she's gluten intolerant, she's got to avoid that. Somehow, immune factors are coming into the baby through the mom's milk, so that has to oh, be addressed. No, it's, not, it's not happening to the baby; it's happening to the mom. Okay, well then the mom's getting into her system somehow through uh, through the foods. So food, same deal. Food diary, same deal. It's not any different. Food diary, eliminate problem foods. Focus on gut health. Get on the nightly essence. I'm Colin. I'm guaranteeing you results here if you do this correctly or her, your friend results. Guaranteeing. She could take all her hundreds of things she's done or dozens or however many it was, flush them down the toilet. They're irrelevant because if you're not getting instant results, and I'm talking 48 hours or less. You're not doing it correctly. So food diary, eliminate problem foods. If she wants to really, really, really get fast results, have her fast. Just don't eat for a few days. She'll get immediate results. The next thing is nutrients, especially fatty nutrients, vitamin D and A in particular, and also essential fatty acids. 20,000 IU a day of vitamin A. Have her getting out in the sun if she can. A sun lamp if she can. And if she can't do either of that, then vitamin D, which is not as good as the sun, but it's at least something. Vitamin D3, maybe 5,000 IU a day. Then essential fatty acids, the ultimate EFAs, nine of them a day. If she has gas or bloating or any discomfort after she takes these, that's a sign that she's not absorbing, which is very likely to be occurring. In addition to the nightly essence, you also want her on the ultimate enzymes with all of her meals. It wouldn't hurt her to do things that help stimulate bile secretion before her meals so that if she does something like uh, um, arugula or dandelion greens or parsley or something called Swedish bitters at the beginning of her meal and then does her ultimate EFAs and her vitamin A and her vitamin D, that will help. It will help improve the absorption of all of those nutrients. Then, the, of course, she wants to stay on the Mighty 90. I'd also be using 50 milligrams, 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate. Very, um, very helpful. Okay. 50, 50, 50, 50 milligrams. Look for zinc picolinate. It's the best form of zinc. Now, there's many more things to do, but what we want to do is trend in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? You want to be pointing in the right direction, trending. Once she starts this program, she will notice results in 48 hours. I'm not saying she'll be completely cured, but she'll notice results. That's, that's how you know you're trending in the right direction. There's many, many more things to do. You might also want to try uh, topical vitamin A and D. Even my retinol healing, uh, retinol 5% cream might help her uh, applying that maybe once or twice a week on the plaques. Vitamin, vitamin A and D or A and E? A and D is in David. E wouldn't hurt her either, by the way. The E is not going to hurt, but not as it's not as significant as the D. I didn't give you everything. I just got you got you started on the program. Colin, I got to motivate. Now everybody's calling me. Now that I have three minutes left. Okay. Thanks for thank you for your call. Drive safely, buddy, and happy New Year, my man. All right, uh, Juanita in California. Welcome to the bright side. Oh, What's up? I'm here. Hi, Juanita. Hi. Hey. Um, can you hear me okay? I can, but I hear other people okay as okay, well. Okay, I, I, I just came out of the classroom. Um, oh, are you a teacher my, or a student? Yes, I am a teacher. Yes. You're a teacher. Where do you teach? Yeah, I teach uh, math and and uh, English. Oh, that's seventh awesome. Seventh and eighth grade. Very dyslexic. nice. Where, okay, oh, dyslexic? So Did you say dyslexic kids? No, they're uh, special ed children. Special ed children. Seventh okay. and eighth graders, uh-huh. Okay, well, talk okay. to me quick, because i got a bunch of calls. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Um, I recently met a 19-year-old who's been diagnosed with Graves' disease since the yes. age of 14. Okay. And I thought I, I thought I heard you say autoimmune diseases yes. are treated through the gland. No, treated through the digestive system. Graves' okay. disease is an attack upon the thyroid. It's, right. You know, I could give you the mechanism, but it doesn't really matter for reversing it. You've got to calm the body down. It's the most important thing. Graves' disease, for the listener, is hyperactive thyroid. It's the opposite of hypothyroidism, and it is utterly miserable, especially when it's severe. Yeah. 
Utterly, <laughs> utterly. It's right. worse than hypothyroidism. Better depressed, all of that, yeah. Oh, my God. Can you imagine being, for the listeners, just revved up all the time? Like, well, we're sweating, and your blood pressure goes up, and you're dizzy, and you can't digest oh. your food, and your hair is oh. all, all oily. It's just awful. So here, you've got to calm the body down. It's a sign of hyperactivity following an attack. So calming the body down by fasting is the first thing I would do, or at least okay. caloric restriction. Okay, fasting and caloric restriction, that will calm the body down. Making sure that there's plenty, abundant, mighty 90 essential nutrients is also important, at least the healthy start pack. Uh, there's more, okay. but just the healthy start pack to start. Uh, and then the digestive system. This is the major source of attack on the body. The uh, toxins get into the blood. I'm sure you, you've heard me say this before. I'm not going to say it again. But food diary, eliminate problem foods. You probably notice, your, your uh, student probably notices that foods will make it worse. Specific foods will make it worse. For Graves' yeah. disease patients, they will notice that when they eat a specific food, their symptoms get worse. That alone is all you need to see, folks. That's what you need to see. Uh -huh. That's all you need to notice. <laughs> and, and you know what the doctors will do? They will radiate the thyroid. They'll shoot friggin' poison radiation at the right. thyroid. Or they'll take that's it out. They want to do. Yes. Yeah. This that's is the stupidity. This is why I do this program. Juanita, I got to motivate. Uh, food diary, uh, I, eliminate problem foods, healthy start pack. If you want to do a few more things, the BioLumin Nightly Essence uh, and also the Fucoid Z. And then don't forget the importance of caloric restriction and fasting. Yeah. Very, very helpful. Okay. Deep breathing will help right. too. Slow deep breathing. Uh -huh. Thank you, Juanita. Too. Have a great Thank day. You. Okay, uh -huh. take care. Bye bye. All right, uh, let's go to Melissa in San Francisco. Got about a minute, sweetheart. What's going on? How can we help you? Thank you so much for taking my call. Um, I have a 16-year-old son, basically, with cystic nodular acne. And on oh. a scale of 1 to 10, he's a 10 plus. Oh, that's he's awful. Been, that's terrible. Uh, Listen, I only have a minute. Let me tell you. I've been who have both recommended the Accutane. Accutane, of course. Listen, I've been dealing with this for 30 years. I've been dealing with acne and acne patients. The, the worse it is, the easier it is to reverse. That's the great news. The worse your acne is, the quicker it is to reverse, and the easier it is to reverse. Right away, you got to get him on a food diary and eliminate problem foods. If you can get the kid to fast, that will be helpful. He is screaming digestive problems. And Melissa, I'm not psychic, but I'm telling you, guaranteeing you with 100% certitude, this is a kid who's had digestive problems for a long time. Okay? Okay. Are you with me? Are you with yes, me? Yes. Was he breastfed? Yes, Was he breastfed? Yes. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Did he have problems as a kid? Did he have any digest any like when he was breastfeeding as a baby? No, no, not at all, not at all. He okay, is a good. twin, but I don't think that has anything full. You know, he was seven pounds. Um, okay, so good. Don't, we're, don't, don't worry. I just want. I was just. That was just. Uh, I needed to know that to see if you were involved. Yeah, thank you. And you were involved. Yeah. But so it's a food issue. He will know, and he might not want to talk about this. So you have to just have him do it on his own when he has when he's constipated. Usually it's constipation. Could be diarrhea, but usually constipation, bloated, gassy. Uh, Dairy is a big problem. Grains are a big problem. Gluten is a big problem. And then as far as nutrients go, and I I only have a few more seconds here, Melissa. Zinc picolinate, 50 milligrams a day. Vitamin A, 20,000 international units a day. Make sure he's getting his sunshine and throw in uh, uh, something called NAC NAC, 400 milligrams a day, and selenium, 400 micrograms a day. I'm flat out of time, Melissa. I'm sorry. Okay. Thanks for Thank listening, you for folks. Call. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.